How's it going guys? Brian here. Today we're going to be looking at Ray-Ban Clubmasters and seeing if they're actually worth that hefty price tag that Ray-Ban is known for. So that's something that you want to know more about and if you're planning on buying some but you don't know if you want to pull the trigger yet then this video is definitely going to help if you guys don't already know my name is Brian and I make fashion YouTube related content. So if looking good and feeling good is something that you're into make sure to subscribe but with that let's just get straight into the review. The first thing we're gonna be talking about is durability. There's two particular times of owning these glasses where they've proven how durable they can be and even when it comes to stuff that most people wouldn't go through in a year. So the first is gonna be that a couple days ago I did get into a car accident. Now the thing that happened is that when I crashed the glasses actually flew straight out of my face and hit the dashboard of my car. Now I really thought that they were either gonna chip or they were gonna break or they were just gonna like snap in half but honestly these things still look amazing and they have not received any scratches whatsoever. When I'm telling you they literally look pristine just like they did before the accident I'm telling you that I did not find anything wrong with them and that's really something that I was not expecting. I know that when I got into that crash the first thing that went into my mind is man my glasses better not have broke because if you're gonna be paying over $200 for a pair of sunglasses, you definitely want them to last even when it comes to those situations. Another thing is obviously just regular things that happen in life. Like I've accidentally sat on these once and again, they were perfect. Now am I saying that if you sit on them multiple times, they're always gonna be lasting? No, obviously it's a case to case scenario, but when it comes to me, they ended up surviving that, which I honestly think is really cool because if not, I would have broken them within like two to three months of owning the glasses. So I would say that durability checks out for me. Another thing when it comes to durability is the overall structure of the glasses and I know that it's standard with old glasses to eventually just start slipping out of your face and you got to retighten the screws but that has not been the case with my Ray-Bans I've had them for a year I wear them five to six hours a day and they still do not slip out of my face they feel really comfortable they're not too tight not too loose so I definitely appreciate that the last thing when it comes to durability is gonna be the actual prints on the side now this honestly most people won't care about but if you are buying Ray-Ban and you want to kind of tell people that it's Ray-Bans or you just want to see the model number all that kind of stuff that you guys especially maybe enthusiasts might want to see then definitely don't worry about the printing on the sides ever fading mine haven't faded I do sweat on them I have been going through rain on them and they still have held up pretty fine the ink has not worn out in any significant type of way so do not worry about your Ray-Ban starting to look old or starting to show signs of wear because that's not something that's going to be happening now when it comes to quality of the actual glasses the only little complaint that I have is that when I first got these glasses it was something that didn't happen over time it was right when I I receive them and that's that when you put them on in your face they have this kind of creaking sound and the reason that it happens is because the nose pads on both of the glasses not sure if that's what it's called but that's what I'm gonna be calling them they're pretty loose and so when you're adjusting them it almost feels like the materials starting to creak and it's starting to loosen up now I know this is a common thing and it's something that doesn't indicate whether they're a quality product or not but for me it is something that is annoying especially because even though you know obviously if you have them right here and you're shaking them you do hear a little noise but it's nothing significant but when you have them on your face and they're right you know next to your ears having to you know adjust it almost feels like you hear these creaking sounds and it's something that just took me away from the luxurious experience I don't know if that makes sense and again I'm not trying to sound condescending in any way it's just something that I did notice right away when I first got my Ray-Bans there are ways of minimizing this but I am reviewing this just from a consumer that's gonna wear these right from the factory not from someone that's gonna be doing a bunch of different adjustments and buying different stuff to kind of customize them this is more for the person that just knows a little bit about Ray-Bans and wants to put them on and wants them to just function properly right out of the box but it's something that I definitely think I would appreciate more if the glasses were just completely silent and didn't have any sort of play into. the last and final thing that we're gonna be going over is gonna be price now when it comes to price it really depends if you already know that you want a high-end pair of sunglasses then Ray-Bans are definitely a good way to go they do feel premium and they've lasted me well throughout the whole year even with the events I told you earlier in the video however when it comes to the prescription glasses I've seen in their site that these can go upwards to like 350 that honestly is too expensive for me to want to invest money when it comes to buying prescription glasses now these are prescribed but I got them at my eyeglass doctor and they're only around 250 if you could get prescription glasses from Ray-Ban that are around 250 I think it is worth it when you start thinking of the cost per wear especially if you wear your glasses as much as I do I wear them five to six hours a day then yes they're definitely worth it because you're gonna be wearing them a lot throughout the day and you're gonna get a lot of uses out of them throughout the years that you're gonna be owning them now if you guys are looking at getting a pair of glasses and you think that Ray-Ban's pricing is the standard for a good pair of prescription glasses that's when I would say they are not worth the price there's sites like Zenni that sell prescription glasses for around 30 to 35 dollars that basically have models that look exactly like the Ray-Bans you're looking right here yes guys they literally sell glasses 
that look like Ray-Bans without the branding. And the only thing that I could say that I've noticed is the difference between them is that the glasses from Zenni feel a bit more lighter, obviously, because maybe the plastic is a bit more of a cheaper quality. But when I ask myself, are the $35 from Zenni five times less the glasses that come from Ray-Ban? And I would say they absolutely are not. Most people aren't gonna know that they're Ray-Bans or whether they're not Ray-Bans. And even then, as long as they look the same, honestly, why does it matter? It's not gonna be different in quality in that respect. So if you're on a budget and you have this misconception that the starting price for good prescription glasses would be 150 to 200 bucks, then no, do not start looking at Ray-Bans. I would go for cheaper alternatives that are gonna have the same look and you won't have to pay the price tag. And even if you do wanna buy Ray-Bans, if you don't know if they're gonna look good on you and you've been just seeing a bunch of different reviews trying to envision what it's going to look like on your face i would either go to a ray-ban store or i would get some knockoff versions of ray-bans from zenny which are like 30 bucks wear those for a couple months see if you like them and if the answer is still yes after a couple months then go ahead and buy them and you won't have to deal with any buyer's remorse after making the expensive purses guys hopefully that helped you decide whether ray-bans are right for you if you guys did like this review make sure to leave a like comment and subscribe also check me out on instagram at men's minute fashion it'd be greatly appreciated but with that thank you guys for watching and as always stay stylish and stay humble mm. okay all right